Hello guys and dolls and welcome back. This is going to be a Cora doesn't really know what she's doing but she's trying to make it happen so please pray for her type of tutorial. So the first thing I want to tell you guys is that I've got dirty girl hair. I have my day old hair right now. I, I washed it yesterday and I put dry shampoo in it when I first woke up in the morning so it's had time to settle in and it's not all powdery. You know of course I let it absorb in. It always seems to go it oh, it always seems to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone. It always seems to go that if if you're gonna do something like curling your hair, your hair ends up looking really freaking awesome before you do anything with it. Like, I'm going to put in a heat protectant spray. This is the Restore Instant Protection from Living Proof. I'm trying it out. I already sprayed it on this side of my hair, and one thing I noticed is that it smells a little bit like, like, hairspray? A little bit like bug spray. Get through to my ends and everything. I'm sure there's a better way to do this. And another thing too is like I normally do my hair in my in my bathroom and not in my bedroom, but the bathroom is not very good for filming this type of thing. So I think that's part of like why it's awkward to film a hair video. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to section off my hair. So I'm going to start with a top section. Oh, I forgot. I have horrible, horrible roots in the black part of my hair. Please forgive. So now we have our bottom layer of hair and I divide that in the back into two sections and then I divide it into another two sections. And I'm gonna start with the furthest back section. I have my one inch barrel curling iron and it's set to 380 for my hair. I find that sometimes the hair doesn't curl if it's really low and sometimes it doesn't, um, or it's too hot if I do it any higher than that. So 380, I could actually probably go a little lower but uh, I'm just trying to get it done as quick as possible today. So I go ahead and let that sit on the hair for about that long and I get a little spiral curl. Like that. I'm not really great at explaining sections. Like I watch some hair tutorials where they take a one inch section of hair and I'm like, how do they know? Anyway, take a chunk of hair but not like a huge chunk. Um, you do want to kind of curl this all in little sections because you're going to get a better curl. I, at least that's what I found is that I get a better curl if I use smaller sections of hair. And I'm curling this back. I'm curling it away from my face in just little ringlets. We're gonna tease this and do all kinds of other things to it. So you just really wanna get it curled as easily as possible. So just do whatever method is easiest for you. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave these to cool. So my hair is such a pain in the butt and it's already starting to lose its curl a little bit and even though we're going to you know, be te teasing it and everything, I do want the curl to last um, just so that when I go to tease it, it doesn't you know, completely come apart. So what I'm doing is I'm recurling my entire head because that's cool, holding them in the pins or like pinning them up and letting them cool down to draw, you know, to set you know, in the little curler, it, it just makes them last longer for me. I just, I don't know why I thought I could do it without it. The hair is all pinned up and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and let it cool. I'm gonna put on my makeup and then I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, so now that my hair is all curled, I've actually combed it out pretty good. So it's nice and like looser curls and everything. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray in a little bit of this BB um, dry spun finish. I actually have very little of it left, so hopefully it lasts. I'm gonna spray it up into the hair, kind of squinch it in. This is gonna help it kind of have a little more grip and texture to it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide my hair into two different sections. It's the top section here. I'm gonna kind of clip away. Like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tease this. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, oh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. This is just adding some texture. It's gonna help make the back part of our hair a little bigger. So now what I'm gonna do is take a clear elastic and I'm going to comb my hair back like this. So we're trying to get as smooth as possible in the front. And we're going to pull it into a ponytail. I'm actually going to go pretty high with this. And then I'm going to wrap the elastic around twice. It's okay if it's messy up here because we're going to cover that with hair. And I'm going to let that ponytail just hang out for now. And then I'm going to start to mess with the front of the hair. Grab the front section that I want to be that little bump. And I'm going to, again, rough tease that. Come that back over. Now when it comes to shaping your little bump, what you want to do is place a finger in the center of it 
and sort of pinch that together so that when you go ahead and pin it, it'll have that little heart down if you want, or you can just go with the traditional. Um, that's what I did the first time, but I think I'm just gonna go traditional today. It's, it's kind of getting a little bean shaped. Oh, whatever, that's fun. Okay, so now for the sides of the hair, you wanna go ahead and tease them. Let me get a little volume going, give them just a little rough tease. I've already started a little bit and then I had to redo the whole thing because you know, that's kind of the theme of this tutorial, or should I say a fail tutorial. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a section from the center here. Go ahead and brush the rest of that back. And I'm going to make the ends smooth on it. You curl the hair, like smooth out the top layer so that you don't see the the teased bits, but then I'm going to create like a little rosette like this, and I'm going to hook it on the bobby pins that are holding in the um, the bump, but then I'm also going to do another little hidden one back behind there. So in fact, I'm going to probably do a couple of them. That just kind of creates a cute little rosette up there. Okay, and then I'm going to do a few more. I'm going to do one big one. So this is a great alternative to doing like victory rolls or something where you don't want to do something that's like so obviously vintage but you want to have maybe like a little bit of a vintage flair because I want it to look like it's you know going in with part of the ponytail from the front. And then I'm going to twist it around, find that curl and then have another little rosette next to the first one and again just pin that down with a bobby pin And then when you feel like you have all your rosettes in place, you're going to want to make sure they stay in place all day with some hairspray. And for the back, I have no idea. So in the back, I'm going to tease up a bit because it's fallen a little. Using it until it's almost like a little bun shape. And then we're going to pin the hair to the head to cover up the ponytail and cover up like the top part here. So we're just gonna grab sections of hair and pin them back into it like a bun. Oh wait, this would work a lot better if you guys could see what I was doing. So, <sighs> pin sections of the hair in place. you guys this is my epic hair fail tutorial I'm sorry that this isn't better I, I really am I you know I had high high hopes that this would go well but I just finished taking photos of this and this isn't nearly as bad as I thought it was because this whole time this is so frustrating for me to film I kept doing things and I'm going to redo them and undo them and and I was getting really frustrated you guys because truly I really don't know what I'm doing with hair and I'm really glad I did this and I'm going to be sharing with you guys my little fail tutorial because in the end it turned out pretty good if I do say so myself. I think it's important for me to kind of share this because so many times we watch a tutorial and everything's perfect in it and they get it right and it's just, just it looks so seamless and then we do it ourselves and we're just like Please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this massive fail tutorial. I also want to invite you to check out my other tutorials. I'll have a link to that in the description box down below. Make good choices and remember to just be yourself. See you next time. Bye.